Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jimmy with Tropicana Golf. Here we have Mr. Ricardo Flat Tire Chacon. We call him Flat Tire because he gets more flat tires than anybody I've ever known in my life. But anyway, Ricky is a, I guess, former athlete, right? Yeah, I can say that. Okay, baseball and football. All the major sports. Yeah. He's an athlete. He can play sports. But when it comes to golf, there's a lot of confusion going on, I think, in your head and the body is not connected with the mind and you're telling yourself things that you're not really sure what you're supposed to be doing. Anyway, it leads to a lot of errant shots. And I'm no instructor by any means, but I've watched Ricky play. And I think there's a couple things that I can just put in his head that will make him a more consistent golfer to hit the ball straighter. He's not gonna be shaping shots, but as long as the ball's going straight, you're doing something right. So before we do anything, I want you to tell me, as soon as you get right here, and you get down and you're about to hit the ball, what are you thinking? Hmm. What am I thinking? I'm thinking, are my arms straight, pretty much? Are I'm your arms just, straight? Yeah, are they straight okay. down? I don't want to be too close, you know, okay. doing this, pretty much lined up. Where's the ball out in the middle of my legs? Arms straight So you're down. thinking of all setup? Yes. Okay. When you get into a batter's box, or a free throw? Are you consistently thinking about, are my arms straight, are my feet straight, or do you just naturally find it? Yeah, pretty much routine in those situations. You naturally find yeah, it. exactly. If I gave you a basketball right now and said, shoot the ball this way, you would get it and shoot. You wouldn't probably look down to your feet. No, you no, wouldn't no. think about where your arms are. No. You would think about the end result, which is making the basket. Correct. Okay. In your setup, you told me everything that's happening right here and nothing that's happening over there. Right. Okay. So to me, that's the first thing that you should think about. What is my objective? To hit the ball that way. So how do I hit the ball that way? It's not with all of this. Granted, that helps. And if you have a shitty setup, if you're shooting a basketball like this, of course, that's going to be terrible. But a regular stance and a comfortable stance, I believe is more important than anything that now you're thinking left foot a little bit forward, my arms a little bit straighter, I'm right. too close to, the, that's too many things to think about. So I want you to take a normal swing, regular swing, before I tell you anything, I just want you to hit the ball 150 yards and take your normal swing. Okay. Good to go? Do it. Ooh. Okay. There you go. Chunked it. Come, come close. Hit way behind the ball. Just for reference, the tee is here and he hit it here. So, to me, what you're doing there is you're so focused on hitting the ball that your only thought is hit the ball. Okay? Now, I want you to do the same exact thing, but I want you to think about swinging through the ball. Okay. I don't want, I don't even want you to think that there's a ball there. I want you to just take a practice stroke mm -hmm. and finish. I don't want you to think about hitting the ball. I okay. just want you to think about hitting through the ball. Now, am I hitting the ball or not? Hit, yeah, hit the okay, ball. Okay. But don't think about don't hitting think the about ball. It. It. Okay. Just think about swinging through what's there. Okay. There's no ball there. Just swing. Ooh, Chunked it again. Okay. Mm. Now. Mm. I'm going to put something else in your head. There's another T. Give me that club. I want you to think about absolutely nothing. I want you to put the club down. I want you to turn this way. Just turn. Just turn. Nothing manipulation. Mm -hmm. Just turn. Turn. And then I want you to point to the target. Okay. I want you to turn and point to the target. That's it. Don't okay. think about anything. Step up, hit the ball, and point to the target. Wow. That's a start. There you go. You didn't chunk it, which is good, right? Yeah. That's, that's, the, that's the point. Now, we got that down. Remember that. Point to the target, okay? Now, I want you to put one little thing into your head. I want you to envision that there are two eyeballs right here, okay. literally eyeballs. If I put the ball, the club behind the ball, the eyeballs are staring at what? The ball. 
I want you to take the club back so that the eyeballs never stop looking at the ball. If I get right here, it's still looking at it, right? Mm -hmm. If I get right here, is it still looking at it? No, it's looking at me. Well, well how about of, now? Okay, there you go. Okay, what about now? No. Now it is. Right. I want you to go from here to the target. Okay. Never let the eyeballs look at the sky. Okay. Make it look at the ball. Make it look at the ball. Much better. There you go. That is perfect. That is perfect. So, with every club and every shot, that is what you need to think about. I have eyes on this club, and the club travels back, looks at the ball, turns forward, and points at the target. Anytime you do this, it's not, not looking at the ball. Right. Or this right. is now not looking at the ball, it's looking at the sky. So, it looks at it, it looks at it, looks at it, looks at it. Anytime you get up in here, or like this, it's not looking at it. I'm gonna go grab another ball, okay. we're gonna come back, I want you to hit a couple more shots with just the principle of the eyeballs. looking at it, looking at it. Right. Hold this, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back with the driver. Now, Rick, the same thing applies. Pretend that this is one giant eyeball, or there's two eyeballs, these dots. And when you take that back, those eyeballs are still looking at the ball. They never stop looking at the ball, okay. always here. And then point to the target. Don't worry about anything else except uh, the eyes on the ball. Eyes on the ball. And you just turn back and turn back. Hit one. Eyes on the ball. Eyes on the ball. Point to the target. Much better. Much better. Yeah. Okay. Let's do one more. Now... I have one more task for you. We've gotten through what? Eyes on the ball and point at the target. Eyes on the ball, point at the target. Now, I want eyes on the ball, point at the target, and Finish pose off. for a magazine. Okay. And I want you to pose until the ball hits the ground. Okay, right. take a practice swing. Let me see. Do it slow. A little slower, a little slower, a little slower. Eyes on the ball. Point at the target. There it is. Go ahead and hit one. Eyes on the ball. Point to the target. Hold the finish. Okay. Ooh, a little off balance. Do one more. Ooh. Now, I told you to hold your finish until what? The ball hit the, the ground. ground. Yeah. That ball was five feet in front of you and you were out of your stance. I don't care where the ball goes. I want you to hold the finish. Okay. Eyes on the ball. Hold the finish. What do you know? What do you know? Perfect. So, that's your, that's your thought. From now until forever, the eyes on the club, look at the ball, you point at the target, and you hold the finish till the ball hits the ground. And you're gonna be hitting these nice little draws, not these wispy, lame fades and slices. Right. It's all about keeping that club base pointed at the ball. You can't hit a bad shot right here. It's impossible. There's no manipulation. You're not worried about bringing it down. It's just turn and turn with nothing of this. And as soon as you point, you continue around and hold your finish. Ladies and gentlemen, like I said, I'm no instructor, but I think golf is a lot easier than people are making it. What do you think, Rick? I think you're right. I think you're onto something. Thank you.